Hi students, welcome to the channel. In this video, we will discuss the characteristics of cloud service models. In the previous video, we have discussed the basic definition and working of all these three. Okay, so in this video, we will discuss the characteristics and difference between all of them. The first one is IaaS. That means infrastructure as a service. It is also known as HAAS that is hardware as a service. It is a computing infrastructure management over the internet. The basic characteristic of IAAS is that the first one is resources are available. Resources are available as a service. With the help of IAAS, we can get any type of resources, infrastructure as pay per use type of system. Okay, the second point here is services are highly scalable. Services are highly scalable. That means all the services provided by IAAS are very highly scalable. We can run on these services on any type of system. Third point is dynamic and flexible. Dynamic means changeable. Here changeable means we can change the configuration of any infrastructure or hardware provided by cloud system. And flexible means we can run it on any system. This is the meaning of flexible in terms of cloud computing. The next point is GUI. GUI means graphical user interface. GUI and API application programming interface. GUI and API based access is also available. We can access any type of graphical user interface services and application level services with the help of IAS. The next characteristic is automated administrative tasks. Okay, the, this is the most important characteristic of IAS is that it is automated administrative task can be handled with the help of hardware as a service. For example, Linode AWS, AWS stands for Amazon Web Services Next is Google, Google Compute Engine, that is GCE, and last one is Cisco MetaCloud. All these are the characteristics and examples of cloud service model as IAAS, right? The next point we have is PAAS. P AAS that means platform as a service. It is created for the programmers to develop, to develop, test, run and, and manage the applications. Okay, the characteristics of PAS include, first one is accessible to various, it is accessible to various users. We are the same development applications. Development applications. The next point is integrates with platform as a service helps us to integration with web services and database. Okay, web services here is front end service and database is a back end service we have discussed both in my previous video okay the next point is it support multiple languages and framework 
we can get any type of platform that can understand and work on different languages next point is it provide an ability an ability to auto scale okay for example aws amazon web service elastic elastic beanstalk right next is window azure next is magento commerce cloud and the last one is open shift all these are the examples of platform as a service all these are the service providers that provide us platform as pay per use system okay the third point we have is software as a service software as a service is also known as on demand softwares it is a software in which the applications are hosted applications are hosted by cloud service providers cloud service providers right characteristic the first characteristic of software as a service is it is used to manage it is it can be managed from a central location it can be managed from a central location suppose this is a central location all these are the softwares connected to the central device we can access and control all these softwares right the next point is hosted on a remote server we have discussed this term remote server in my previous video okay next point is it is accessible over the internet as i have told you earlier that cloud computing is totally based on internet or networks okay if you have a strong internet connection only then you are able to access the cloud computing services next point is the services are its services are purchased on pay per use basis okay for example the service pro providers for software as a service is first one is slack another is big commerce next one is google apps next one is dropbox and last is go to meeting right all these are the service providers for software as a service now let's discuss the difference between iaas platform as a service and software as a service the first difference is that it provide a virtual data it provide us a virtual data center to store to store information and create platform okay for applications for application testing and development right and the platform as a service provides us a virtual it provide us a virtual platform and tools to create test and deploy applications for example if we talk about facebook platform as a service system helps us to create that kind of facebook like application we can test that application and we can also deploy that application with the help of platform as a service tool next is software as a service it provide web software and applications to complete a business to complete a business 
task right this is the first difference between both all of three the second difference is that it is used by network architects okay and it is used by used by whom it is used by developers developers and software as a service is used by end users end users are those those users which are going to use that particular application the next difference is that it provide only infrastructure platform as a service provide infrastructure plus platform this is the most important term and it provide us infrastructure plus platform plus softwares okay the last difference is it provide access to resources resources such as virtual machine vm means virtual machines and virtual storage it provide us access for environments run time sorry run time environment and development tools for applications and it provide us software only for work okay all these are the difference between ias paas and saas this is all for today's video i hope you like it thank you so much for watching